Tell us a little, about, a little bit about yourself. Yeah, do, do you, uh, would you like me to look at you? Or, you know, I, every director has a thing. He said, look at the camera. No, don't look at the camera. Look at the camera. Okay. Uh, tell me about me. Okay, well, uh, yeah, what is it about me? I, I, I've lived a long time. Uh, no, I'm just a guy who wanted to work for Disney uh, as a kid. Yeah, I, I fell in love with uh, Disney movies, Disney comics. Loved to draw when I was a little kid, and uh, it wasn't until I got to junior high school I decided that's what I want to do with my life. I want to be a Disney animator. You know, for some reason, it was junior high school where I made that decision. Like, that's it. I've decided what I want to do. There's no more questions. I want to be a Disney animator. And Okay. I'll settle for nothing less. Yeah. <laughs> how, uh, how tough was it to, to get into this? Well, because I was a, a, a dumb kid and didn't know any better, I decided right after I finished high school, uh, drove down to the Disney studio in Burbank and applied for a job. You know, took my portfolio and I managed to get a, a, a meeting on a Saturday morning. I don't know why I chose Saturday. The, st the studio was officially closed you know, because they, did, they didn't work on Saturday. But there were a few people around and I managed to score an interview on Saturday morning and showed my, portfo my portfolio. And they said, uh, kid, you got, you, know, you got some talent, but you really need to go to school. So uh, you need to go back to school. So and that was good advice. So I went to I went back to art school, uh, Art Center College of Design. At that time, located in Los Angeles, didn't move to Pasadena until some years later. So at that time, it was still in LA. So I uh, went to Art Center as an illustration major and uh, did two years of uh, my course of study and uh, hoping that one day I would graduate and uh, get back to the Disney studio. Well, lo and behold, it happened sooner. When I had uh, started my third year at Art Center, I got a call from Disney, basically saying, kid, do you still want that job? And so I became uh, an instant dropout and reported to work at Disney that next Monday, mo Monday morning. Uh, yeah. yeah. So anyway, we did six lines and actually had some towels made up. Yeah, that was uh, kind of a weird fluke. I was always a Pixar fan. Now keep in mind that it was a while before Pixar discovered who and what they were. I was uh, uh, intrigued by Pixar because they were a technology company. I mean, they were writing some really cool software, and, and, and I, lo I love what they were doing. I would go to these computer shows like SIGGRAPH, and Pixar would always be there, and they would have their little um, their little uh, kiosk set up, and they would be selling little stuff. And I remember buying a, a Pixar mug, coffee mug, because I was, I was a fan. I was a fan of Pixar. Never knew that one day they would be a film company. So in a sense, my, my, my roots with Pixar go way back even before they started making making the animated films. Now, of course, John Lasseter was producing these really cool little short films, which were kind of like, you know, their, their sales pitch to show off their, their software. And lo and behold, those little short films uh, revealed that they had, uh, you know, storytelling ability, that John Lasseter, who produced these films with a small team, you know, this, these little films were really intriguing. And uh, it showed that these guys knew how to tell a story. And so that eventually uh, led Pixar to become what they are today, and that is an animated filmmaking company. Yeah, this is after failing as a hardware company, <laughs> failing as a software company, and eventually finding out who they were as, as, a, as an animated production house. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> too, too many. Too many. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the mic. I'm sure it was tough, right? I mean, he didn't have an eyebrow. Where would the flip? <laughs> <laughs> like a motion? <laughs> the, the flip? I, I, I oh, no, that's, that's, that's easy. Yeah. That's <laughs> no, I, actually, I don't find any of the characters
any any more difficult than any other. You know, I mean, you know, they, they all have their challenges. But you know, Mike was a very f- cartoony character. As long as a character is fun and cartoony, uh, we can get him or her to do whatever we we need them to do. You know, you know, we, yes, sir. You know, great characters uh-huh. are just are just cool to work with, and that's what's great about Disney and what's fire great about table number two. Oh, fire! No fire! That, that, you know, these, these characters are just just wonderful, and people latch on to them, and it's just cool. It's just very cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, so many. Yeah, a, a lifetime of Disney memories. But but probably the the greatest thrill for me uh, as as a, as a Disney artist and and writer storyteller was to actually be in the same room with Walt Disney. You know, I never thought that would happen. I, I, I never had any idea that... Jenny and your children because, you know, keep in mind, I was just a kid when I was at Disney, and you know, all these old guys who had made all these great films, they were there with Walt, so I knew that was not, you know, an area I would be in. But lo and behold, through just a stroke of luck, I got recruited into Disney's story department back in 1966 and ended up uh, attending story meetings with Walt Disney. So imagine that. Imagine being able to learn from from the master, you know, firsthand. You know, not having to read it out of a book or talk to other people, but to be there in the same room with Walt Disney and to find out how these films are put together and what makes story works. Uh, this was an opportunity that uh, it was an incredible opportunity, and I'm really grateful for that because that really changed my life. Yeah. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you. Okay.